Hey guys, so give you an update on the red onion scenario. I've been doing the red onion uh, mission for the last couple weeks now, and I had the crud for the last couple weeks was starting to act up because I was out in public a lot, going helping friends out at a hospital in a hospital a lot. I started getting the crud from being out in public, right? So I started doing the onion water. This is my second bottle of onion water. I just made this brand new one. Um, went through a whole mason jar of that. Um, it's not bad. It's got a strong smell, but it's not bad. Um, I got my onion mix, my onion and honey mix. Um, I went through a whole thing of that. I'm just redoing them all this week because, uh, it's been about a week since I changed out the onions. And I got my onion room filters ready to go. I just made them. And I made my, I finally got around to making my, uh, diced and minced garlic and uh, raw honey fermented uh, concoction, okay? So I just took my first teaspoon of that. When you make this stuff, it's just simply, I just literally put diced and minced uh, garlic in there with our uh, raw honey. And uh, man, you definitely gotta burp this every day. This builds up some pressure, the fermentation stuff. I burp this too, it builds up a little, a little bit, but, um, Took my first teaspoon of that, it's good to go. It's not bad, the honey really neutralizes it. It's getting watery, the fermenting is starting. And uh, I think this stuff was really great. It took like two, one in the morning, one at night, teaspoon of this, the syrup from the uh, onion mix. And uh, all the onions, they like turned colors and shriveled up into like disgusting balls of death, sucking toxins out of the air. So I think that worked good. And I added in another thing, um, NAC. I started NAC. Um, I'm doing so much stuff, so much healthy stuff. It wiped out the crud last week. It's starting again because I was back out in public, back helping friends at a hospital again. And, uh, you know, you go to a hospital and you're, you're going to get sick. They're not centers for health. They're centers for disease, okay? Anyway... I've also been doing my uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is working great. I'm gonna do a separate video on the NAC and the, uh, I just started using this stuff, the J. Crow's Lugol Solution Iodine. Super healthy stuff. And uh, so I can't isolate exactly what did what, but cumulatively, it wiped out the crud last week. Really good, I felt really good. It's starting to come back on because I was out in the public this week. And uh, so I'm hitting it hard again. I got a whole new lineup for this week. And uh, it's rolling. You got to stay on it. You got to stay on it. There's so many things. I just watched a video where some uh, one of the nurses, pediatric nurse, is talking about five different, uh, you know, respiratory type viruses going around, different strains of the flu and RSV and all that crap. And uh, you got to stay on it. You know, health, wellness, fitness, nutrition, you got to stay on it every day, all day. It's got to be a lifestyle. You make time for your health and wellness, or you're going to make time to see the doctor, right? So you guys take care. I'll keep you updated. God bless you.